What up guys, welcome to Barbell Brigade Labs. Today what I have to show you is something I'm personally passionate about. This dry duffel, the Barbell Brigade dry duffel, it comes from a personal place and I don't think this really exists in the fitness space yet. So you guys know I've been training Muay Thai, kickboxing, a little bit of Jiu Jitsu here and there. And when you do sports like that, or even when you lift weights, like your shirt's drenched and you have a lot of wet gear all the time. And then when you rush off to work or rush off to school or go home and sometimes you forget to take it out, your back stinks. Like how many of us have really stinky knee sleeves? And then when I went to my scuba diving class last year, mesh bags are pretty much the staple because you have your wetsuits, you have your fins, your snorkel, your goggles, and if you keep those things wet, the mildew smell will be insane. And when I saw that, I'm like, wait, why don't the fitness community have a mesh bag so we can dry stuff out? Like, yeah, we're not soaked under water, but stuff gets really wet, and we also don't like stinky smell. So that's how I created the Barbell Brigade dry duffel. Things that I like to point out that I think are super cool is one, we use super high quality mesh, so it's super strong. So we filled this thing up full of equipment and it will not rip. This is waterproof. So what's cool about this is it lets everything ventilate and air from the top. I wanted to make sure we came unique and came correct. So even our zippers are high quality. We've got the YKK zippers. If you guys know anything about zippers, if you're a fashion nerd or snob, you'll know. An additional thing we threw in is an actual pocket, a dry pocket. So. If you need to keep things dry, like your shoes or even personal items where from the top you might not have as much security and you need to stash something, we have an extra pocket in here. So if you do have dry clothes, you can keep your dry clothes in here, you can have your wet clothes up here or just to separate your gear. So there are extra places to put an entire pair of shoes here or here or your belt. And I've been able to stuff boxing gloves, shin pads, weight belt, knee sleeves, extra clothes, all in this bag like this is a really good bag not only just lifters but also combat sports people and probably even other sports like basketball soccer anyone that's going to be drenched you could put your stuff in here super high quality straps i feel super passionate about it because it almost feels like i invented something not that i invent i invented something the way apple you know as they go like well apple didn't invent the swipe and the touch screen but they were one of the first to adopt that technology. So I adopted this technology from the scuba stuff and I really like it. I've been using it constantly and I can't wait for other people that had stinky stuff go, oh yeah, I could benefit from that too. So right now we're in the staff office at the gym and we are about to have our all staff meeting where we pretty much go through what's been going on over the month. So it's a monthly meeting that we have. So during these meetings, we usually speak on our memberships uh, where our memberships are at, um, how our sales are doing, apparel, drink wise, any kind of issues as far as like has there been any problems with equipment or has there been any problems with like member interface or have staff reached any problems when it comes to sitting like being at the front desk? Are they is something broken that they need help like replacing for them to clean better or whatever it is? Maintaining the complete organization of our apparel too, so everything is always in its place in here in the office and then we also have like upcoming events so we've got a retreat coming up which is always exciting so we just touched on that we have a all staff company dinner coming up so we touched on that thanksgiving's coming up we've got christmas coming up so any closures of the gym that we have coming up as well you know any events that might be happening on the street so we are having like a massive reconstruction of the road on the street so just letting the staff know about that and what to expect when that's going on Unfortunately, sometimes I do have to pull them up on a few things and just uh, let them know where they aren't doing their best that they could be doing, where we need to improve, uh, where we're lacking on things, so that this place is the best place, A, for them, so they can enjoy their experience here, and B, for anyone that walks through that front door so that they're getting the greatest experience that they possibly can. Um, so unfortunately, that does have to happen, but it's literally for the benefit of them and the gym and our members and guests. We are shooting the new products that we have today. We got the comfy shorts. What is it called? Is it comfy shorts? I think so. We got the comfy shorts coming out and we have a few accessories for lifting coming out. So some of the things that I try to do is maintain the style for barbell. Um, there's a certain aesthetic that we need to go for for Barbell Brigade. 
and uh, with like other companies they have their own unique style and we have our un own unique style and the way I implement that is by using models that actually lift. If I just grab someone from the streets or just a random person, sometimes they might not know how to use the straps or how to use knee sleeves. So today we used Brian, a staff member from the gym, and he's super jacked. I don't know if you guys seen him lift or anything like that, but he's huge. And he's really good at modeling because he does a lot of like acting jobs and modeling jobs. So um, he's a good candidate for today's shoot. And some of the things that I have him do is front shots, side shots, back shots, and then after that we get any detail shots of the clothing or um, the embroidery or whatever the case may be. And then also we do a thing where we freestyle. So this is usually like him like goofing around, kicking at the camera, doing something stupid just so we can get that uh, personality from Barbell Brigade that we have. One of my favorite things about doing product shots is that it's super quick. I get to be one-on-one -on -one with the model, um, get detail shots, and usually the, you know, you don't have to go walk around the city. You don't have to do anything like that. So you just knock everything out really quick, boom, 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 and then I'm all set.